Hey there, YouTubers. So, um, before we start this video, I, um, have installed the video card and, uh, went ahead and put the power supply in there. It is not, the power supply is not in the proper, uh, way you would want to put it in there, but I just wanted to show you that the graphics card does fit in the computer and it will run. Now, when you go to get the uh, GPU out, you're going to have a lot of fun. It is very difficult, uh, I will say, um, to the point you may um, have to actually take out your uh, uh, motherboard um, to get it away from the frame so you can pull it out easier. But uh, um, that's if you go with one that's as long as the graphics card I did. If you go with the shorter one, you probably won't have any problems. So. Uh, just some things to uh, keep in mind. And uh, I did downgrade the uh, CPU in this computer. Um, I just recently actually sold that CPU. So uh, this will get some kind of i5 back in it or an i7. But um, those are the numbers that it got. Uh, it would be in the high 50s if I had the i5-8400 in it. and Which makes this a decent gaming computer. Um, that background CPU is not very good uh, usage, so, um, but that's, these are pretty much the numbers you would end up with. And uh, I took out some of the RAM, so uh, some of the other scores are a little lower. This only has 8 gigs in it right now. Usually it has at least 16. There is the, uh, the scores that it got. Um, and so just so you can see it, it is a mess in there. The graphics card is in there and there is our Del Vostro. So uh, please, um, this is gonna switch over to just before I put the graphics card in and uh, trying to figure out, you know, sizing and all that stuff. All right, hope you enjoy the video. Uh, hope this helps a little bit, thank you. Alright folks, so I have gotten numerous questions on whether certain video cards would fit in the Del Vostro. And, uh, you know, normally you have a dinky ass card like that in there uh, that doesn't have, uh, doesn't require the 6 or 8 pin connector. And to get that to work, if you do have 6 or 8, you've got to switch out the power supply. So we have previously done that in other videos. Um, some limitations usually the fan is blowing uh, down on most of your standard ATX so that would mean modifying the bottom of the case uh, putting some holes in it there to ensure that you get uh, proper airflow uh, there are some PSUs out there that come with other computers that the fan actually um, is either on that side or uh, on the uh, the opposite side, uh, pointing out um, like the uh, was Actel Bell uh, PSU that I used, uh, which would have been perfect for this if it was a little more powerful and had six or eight pin. Uh, the advantage of that power supply was you didn't have to buy a uh, adapter like this one to uh, add additional hard drives that had its own um, set of power on it. All right, so. Enough of that. Um, so we've already changed out the power supply, put the power supply back in. This is really um, just to verify the uh, card size that would fit. Um, and I do have a working video of the RX 570 working in here. So uh, just so you know, that uh, card does work with this computer. And that is the Gigabyte model. Now, let me go in and measure it. I'm gonna step around. Uh, to do that. Alright, <clears throat> so to be honest with you, though you may be able to get a longer um, video card in here, it uh, doesn't come without some headache. Um, in there you can see on the, down on the motherboard, you may have at least another half inch to an inch. Um, and I'm going to show you another card in how it's almost virtually impossible to get it in there. However, you might be able to. Um, it's uh, questionable. 
So we'll uh, let's take some measurements here. Let me get the tape measure going. All right, folks. So um, the card itself is nine inches long. Um, overall, though, it would be nine and a half inches if you take it from that bracket, which is what I believe they they measure these as. This guy says it's nine and a half. So, but inside the case, it would appear to be um, closer to the nine inch mark. Um, maybe yeah, nine and a quarter nine and a quarter nine and a half inside the case but then if you go to the outside uh the the bracket that's on the front it definitely is uh at least nine and a half so uh i've got another graphics card here that's actually 11 inches long from uh that out bracket outside bracket and uh this thing I'm just going to show you this visually, not take the other card out. Um, you can see just by setting this on top of it, how this size would be impossible uh, to get in here. Mainly you would uh, have a problem with that thing there on the motherboard, so that's not going to move. Now you could move that um, cable holder there, uh, maybe even crop the cables over top of it even though the cables aren't really long enough and uh, there's some other things that would be a headache so really you probably do need at least a half inch to an inch clearance back there and uh, I don't know if this video you know completely proves anything to anybody but uh, you know I can't recommend anything bigger than this here graphics card and uh, you know if you go above that uh, do so at your own risk you may be able to get something that's a half inch bigger. You're really, uh, you know, asking for it if you try and go an inch bigger. And uh, it's really just so hard to freaking show you. But, uh, you know, actually, I'll tell you what. So the gap between the, um, the module that's on the motherboard and the graphics card, I can't even fit my middle finger through there, okay? So that thickness is all that we are able to uh, go with a bigger graphics card. So if we measure that, which I'm going to do here in a second. All right, so I put my little figure in there like that. So that is over a little more than a half inch. Um, and I could feel both sides of it, uh, the video card and the module that's on the, uh, the motherboard there. So that tells me really you don't have, uh, if you're lucky, you might have a half inch bigger. So Look up the exact dimensions on Gigabytes, uh, R, this RX 570, and then if you have a card that you're interested in it, if it is more than a half inch bigger, you're definitely a no-go, no starter, all right? You're wasting your time. So if uh, it's this size or less, then you're good. There is a, um, there are some RX 580s out there that are actually um, smaller uh, than this. Uh, some of the OEM brands like or that they put in HP and uh, maybe in some Dells that are actually uh, quite a bit shorter. That's the probably the optimal card that you want. Otherwise, you're going to have to use something like, uh, let me show you. All right, so otherwise you need something like this ribbon extender and preferably one that's even longer than the guy I have. Now, I've had good luck with this. I can basically uh, plug it into the motherboard and put the graphics card uh, in this side and get it to just bend over and rest um, basically sitting almost like up in this area uh, very uh, useful product they're uh, available uh, probably like 10.99 up to 20 some bucks and uh, these work pretty good i think you can daisy chain these and uh, I've never done that, but I uh, do believe they can be daisy chained. So you could have the graphics card mounted outside easily. And there's some other products out there that you could do that with. Now, the problem with that is you have to keep your case open. Uh, so you're going to get a lot of dust in there and it just looks like an eyesore. Um, as you can see, I haven't done a good job of cable management since I've added some things in here. But uh, this one, uh, I actually just sold the CPU out of. And uh, we're going to put a different CPU in here in the future.
So um, we won't be doing too many more videos for this for a while until I order some. But uh, please like, please subscribe, please watch more of my uh, videos. Definitely more Dell Foster 3670s. And uh, that said, um, I may do another video of all the different modifications to this guy. Um, that I'm talking power supply, so I have not uh, vented it. Um, I did when I put in the, uh, I did put a power supply in here uh, to make sure all this would work. And uh, I did it two ways. One was external to it and one inside like that. Um, hence noticing, oh, the uh, fan blows in the wrong direction. So let me grab one of those real quick. Okay, so rather than do that, this is a EVGA 600 water. And uh, you can see that's how, really that's how it's supposed to mount. So look at the way the bolt pattern is. There's your uh, one that's slightly offset. Um, and underneath, there is the, the vent. So uh, to get that to work on your Del Vostro, you would have to... Um, Honestly, you could just drill a bunch of holes in there, and you're going to get ventilation. Probably have to uh, drill quite a few of them, and that would that would be simple. There is a um, adapter plate that you can get. Um, I have not tried that, and I'm not sure how difficult that one is to do. But uh, adapter plate where you can basically flip it over, um, and then like I said, the other power supply worked. Um, for just adding uh, SATA power and other connectors, um, 365 watts. So, yeah, that's about it for this video, folks. Uh, sorry, just kind of rambled on. Hope I helped somebody. Um, and maybe, like I said, we'll do more power supply stuff. I hope that answers the questions on uh, video cards, um, what the dimensions are that you can do. All right, thank you.